Hi, community group leaders and teachers. I hope y'all are doing well, having a wonderful day. Hey, I am excited to share with you the introduction for the Pastor's Cup for this week. As you can tell, I am not in my office. I'm actually standing on the roof of the Detroit Tower of our building. It's great because I get to look at so many awesome skyscrapers, uh, loads of buildings, loads of ingenuity that is around our great city of Tulsa. Well, as I look around at our buildings, I can't help but think, wow, some people took a long time to build a lot of these and plan these out with meticulous detail. One building in particular, the building behind me over here, is an exact replica of the Twin Towers built in New York City, the, the World Trade Center. It's actually half of the height, 50 stories instead of 100 stories. It's a new fact that I found out literally just about a week and a half ago. But I love the history that is within our city, just as I love the history that's within our city. I love Nehemiah. This week we are looking at Nehemiah chapter 1, starting a new sermon series called True Nerve. Pastor Darren is walking us through the book of Nehemiah, exploring how Nehemiah was a visionary and impactful leader to, to challenge and rally the community of Israel in the middle of crisis to come to a new identity that was wrapped in God and, and had more security, more purpose. I love that about the series. You know, just like in 9-11, uh, the, the nation of America, we struggled with our identity as we came under attack uh, by the World Trade Centers, the, the buildings that, that this building was modeled after. Um, we as a nation rallied together and we said our identity is going to be not wrapped around the, the tragedy that's happened, but instead in us rallying together for something greater. So the nation of Israel rallied together others under something greater, under the leadership of Nehemiah. And Nehemiah challenged the people of Israel to pray, to confess their sins, to, to ultimately bring about revival and to pray and intercede for revival. And so I pray this week as you get together around your community groups, you have great conversations about what does it mean to really pray together? What does it mean to pray for the heart of a nation and help people come back to God and find an identity wrapped in Him, not wrapped in things that they're doing? I hope you all have a great week. God bless.